JCVD is the JCVD movie starring JCVD as JCVD. Here are five reasons why JCVD is JCVD's most JCVD movie of all time. Number five, JCVD. In the role he was born to play, Van Damme gives the world just a taste of what it's like being the man himself. He shows us that when you're JCVD, even a run-of-the-mill trip to the bank involves crowds of adoring fans, gunshots, and spin kicks. Oh, Van Dam, we're not worthy of your greatness. Number four, beginning action scene. JCVD begins with JCVD taking on an entire army that he completely slaughters in a single take by using kicks, guns, cleverness, giant poles, barrels, more guns, more kicks, more barrels, grenades, then just struts out like a boss. Then, being the professional that he is, he lets the director know all the ways everyone else screwed up. In the middle there. It's all a mess. The window didn't explode, right? Wrong, idiot. That's exactly what it means. The man who made hard target and face off possible can do whatever the f he wants. Number three, plays himself again. People made a big deal about JCVD playing himself, but what people don't realize is that Darren McCord from Sudden Death Chance Bordeaux from Hard Target and both twins, Alex and Chad from Double Impact are all 100% based on JCVD and everything in those movies really happened. Number two, his awesomeness on trial. JCVD has the most badass court scene where the opposing attorney tries to argue why Van Damme shouldn't have custody of his daughter. Of the responsibilities of raising a child, she lives a quiet, peaceful life. But because it's JCVD, he gets carried away and just starts talking about all the awesome things he's seen Van Damme do. Mangled under the wheels of a truck. Strangulation. Fracturing the skull. Laceration. Crushed under the vehicles of a car. Death by strangulation. Crushed ribs. I'm in Fracturing it. the skull. One more. Gouging Again. out the eyes. Again. Kicks to the groin. Hell yeah. Before we get to number one, here are some honorable mentions. The Gaumont movie intro is of this stupid kid picking a stupid flower. Van Damme thought that was lame, so he spin kicked that smug little sh right in the face. <laughs> Steven Seagal even gets a shout out. They took somebody else. Who? 
Stephen. He promised to cut off his ponytail. Ugh. The joke, of course, is that cutting off his stupid ponytail would be more effort than Steven Seagal had put his last five movies combined. And finally, if anyone was wondering if he still got it, <gasps> yep, he still got it. <laughs> and the number one reason why JCVD is the most JCVD movie of all time is the dancing. Finally, after being a star for 20 years, Van Damme gives the world what they've been dying for, and boy was it worth the wait. This scene took three and a half years to film, went $25 million over budget, and cost four production members their lives. But I think everyone will agree that it was so worth it. If you don't agree that JCVD is the most JCVD movie of all time, then life goes on, especially in this town. <laughs>